What's up YouTube, my name is Kevin and this is a Toad Life Gear Review. Today, I'm here with the Go Ruck 25 liter Rucker 4.0. This is my tool of choice for rucking. Stick around, I'm gonna get into how I use it, why I use it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll show you around the bag. As I mentioned, this is the Go Ruck 25 liter Rucker 4.0. This bag is built like a tank. It's built to take abuse because it's built for a specific purpose and that purpose is rucking. If you're not familiar with rucking or you don't know what rucking is, basically it's putting weight in a bag and walking around with it. That's what this bag is built for and it's an excellent bag for that purpose. So the bag itself is constructed of 1000D Cordura nylon throughout. There's a couple areas that aren't 1000D and I will get to that in a bit, stick around. Um, the 1000D is a very durable material, obviously it's heavyweight. This bag is really built to take some abuse and it's obvious throughout. We've got very nice large zippers for the zippers all the way around. Um, and what they have is the standard Go Ruck silent zipper pulls, which is some heat shrink around 550 paracord. So, Great purchase, glove friendly, easy to open and close the bag with these nice big zipper pulls on them. <laughs> Moving on to the front of the bag, we've got three rows of Molly webbing. Molly webbing provides versatility. Versatility is good. You can use that webbing to expand the capacity of your pack by adding any number of Molly accessories. You'll notice on the bottom row, all the way over to the left, we've got the Go Ruck spear point embroidered into the last loop of Molly. That's a pretty cool feature. Uh, above the Molly, we've got a slash of high vis reflective material. That's an excellent safety feature, especially if you're going to do any rucking in the evening or after dark. Uh, the pack does not have the standard Go Ruck slash pocket on it, however. There is no pocket on the front, just the high vis reflective material. Above that, we've got the standard Go Ruck patch panel. This is the patch that came with the pack. It is the Ranger green version of the American flag Go Ruck spear point with Go Ruck underneath. Nice patch. It fits the color scheme of the bag perfectly and maintains the aesthetic. On the sides of the pack, we have a grab handle. You've got grab handles on all four sides, top and bottom. I should say both sides, top and bottom. So these are the standard Go Ruck grab handles that are very nicely padded, very well stitched. A very comfortable to use. They're designed so that you can grab this bag from any direction. If you're doing some ruck PT or you want to swing this bag around, maybe do suitcase carries, you can grab it from the side. You can grab it from the top and the bottom to do anything overhead you might want to do. Nice feature. It's a great addition to the bag to have the handles all the way around. Below that we've got two rows, I'm sorry, three rows of two by Molly. You can use that Molly to add accessories or in this case, such as I have, you can add the padded hip belt. So the hip belt Go Ruck provides mollies onto the side molly and it comes with the pack. When I get to the back of the bag I'll get a little further into detail on the hip pack, the hip belt, but um, that does come with the pack. Let's take a look at the back of the bag and the back of the bag is the only area that features a different material than the rest of the bag. So the bag itself is constructed from a thousand D nylon as I mentioned earlier and the back of the bag is 210D HT or high tenacity Cordura, which is much smoother, slicker. Uh, you'll see that on the back panel itself, on the back of the straps and on the back of the hip belt. So that's an excellent feature. It makes the pack easier to get on and off. There's much less friction with this material than the 1000D. It's easier on your clothing, easier on your skin. Great material choice and I really like that as a feature. In addition to the material, we've got two straps. So these are very nice straps. They're nice and wide, very nicely padded. They are a little stiff out of the box, especially with the 1000D on the front, but they start to break in nicely with, with use. These, these straps are stitched on with bulletproof stitching. So they are made to carry a load and I've loaded this pack out to my standard load out right now is 45 pounds. 
Uh, if I'm going a little bit longer distance, I'll have extra weight in there for uh, a hydration bladder. And then occasionally I'll add additional weight for a challenge or just to make things a little bit harder, to switch it up a little bit. I've had up to 100 pounds in this pack and I've carried it for multiple miles and not a stitch has popped. So these are extremely durable straps, very comfortable to wear, very nicely padded, as I mentioned. Excellent with it. the pack feels extremely comfortable, even loaded out with a lot of weight. And then making that a little bit better, in my opinion, and then easier, prevent strap spreading. You've got the sternum strap that attaches to the molly on there. There's, there's a row of molly down each of these. This did come with the pack as well, which is very nice. Uh, I do use this pretty much every time I put it on for rucking. And then we also have the hip belt, the padded hip belt that came with the bag. So this, as I mentioned, I believe earlier, this also came with the bag. I don't always use it. I will use it when I have a lot of weight and or I'm going for a longer ruck. But uh, it is nice to have and uh, it's very durable. Nice big buckle, easy to cinch down. You got some web keepers or some elastic bands to prevent the ends from flapping around. Uh, it's a very nice addition. I'm very glad the bag came with that. Otherwise, the only other thing you'll see that I have on the back of this bag is some web dominators on the left strap, on the top loop of Molly and the bottom. I use that to, when I do put a hydration bladder in here, there's a hydration bladder access port in here. And if I'm going on a longer ruck, I'll have a bladder in there. I route the hose out that port down the left shoulder strap and I use the web dominators to hold that hold and hold, hold that hose in place. So um, the, the molly on those straps provides some versatility again just like the rest of the molly and uh, you know allows for some useful accessory connections. So one more feature I will mention on the back is the padded lumbar support that this bag offers. So this is a little bit different than some of other some of the other GORUCK bags in that it has a padded lumbar support area. That lumbar support pad makes it much more comfortable and it provides one other key benefit to me, which is it does provide a little bit of separation between most of the back panel and your back, increasing the amount of airflow you get through there. So it's noticeable and I think that's a great feature. I'd like to see it on more of their bags going forward. Okay, so a quick look at the top of the bag and you'll see that there is a grab handle on the top and then we've got the hydration port pocket underneath or access panel I should say that's velcroed together. These are the same grab handles that are on the sides as well as the bottom. And the other thing you'll notice on the bottom of this pack is, pack is some drain grommets. So those are nice if your bag does get waterlogged, you've got a place for that water to drain out. You don't wanna carry all that extra weight with you if you don't have to. So nice feature for the bottom of the bag. And that's about it for the exterior. I will move on to the interior of this bag. So the interior has one main compartment with some smaller compartments inside of it. And I'll get into all that and show you each one of them. So unzipping the main compartment, this bag full clamshell open. So opens flat, you have full access to the inside of it. The inside has a mesh pocket on the bottom, rather large, and then a smaller solid pocket up top with the GORUCK Rucker patch sewn onto that top pocket. The main difference between this and most of GORUCK's other bags is that these are Velcro open. So uh, I'm definitely not a huge fan of the Velcro open, but I understand the logic behind it. Zippers plus a lot of weight plus concrete equals damage zippers. So and I think it's a trade-off. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, I would say, to access these, but uh, I understand why they did it that way, and I think we're better off for it. So this one I'm rucking, I usually, this is my snack pocket primarily. Uh, if it's a longer ruck, I'll put some snacks in here. Otherwise, this is typically empty, except for I do have some Duke Cannon field shower wipes in there right now. But otherwise, I don't use these pockets all that much other than snacks. The inside of the main compartment, you'll notice a couple things. First off, there are D-rings all the way around, very substantial D-rings on the top and both sides. I hang a water bladder from this one with a small carabiner when I'm using a water bladder. These, I have some paracord on. If I'm adding extra weights via a sandbag, 
I'll use the paracord of uh, these D-rings to cinch it down so it's not shifting all over the place. And then on to the main feature of the interior, which is the weight plate pockets. So this has a long weight plate pocket and then a shorter weight plate pocket. So you can uh, uh, fit two weight plates in here and it will accommodate both the long versions of the weight plates and then the standard versions, which are shorter and all available from GORUCK. The top flap of this has a large area of Velcro to keep it secure. That's never coming apart. And then some very nice thick padding on top. That's a great feature. I will tell you, if you are gonna do some Ruck PT, maybe you're gonna do some burpees or bear crawls, and you don't have to worry about your weight plates sliding forward and bouncing off the back of your head. That's not a lot of fun, but I'm gonna open this up, show you what it looks like on the inside. This is gonna be loud because there is a lot of Velcro. All right, so you can see how much Velcro we have here to keep this all secure. There is also, and it's difficult to see it, but there's some Velcro inside the first, so you got the smaller compartment and then a larger compartment for weights. There's also some Velcro in there, which if you wanted to, I suppose you could tuck that flap inside of there just to secure uh, a weight plate in the back if you didn't have a weight plate in this one. Um, but these weight plate pockets, they fit the weight plates from GORUCK perfectly, keep them stable, they don't shift around, makes for uh, a much better ruck experience. So when I first started rucking, I didn't have this pack and I also didn't have weights, so I just loaded a bunch of stuff into a standard backpack and as you're moving around, that shifts and it's not comfortable. This provides for a more comfortable experience, but uh, you know, I guess comfort's not what we're always in search of, but there are, uh, if you're gonna put a lot of weight in here, it definitely helps to keep that weight stable with these pockets. It also maintains your you know, weight closer to your back as opposed to hanging off the front of the bag, which puts more strain on you. Okay, I'm gonna sum up my likes and my dislikes. So starting with the dislikes, there's only a few, and the primary one is the Velcro access to the pockets inside. Again, I understand why they did that and why they made the decision to go in that direction. It makes sense, but it does make access a little bit harder. Uh, the only other dislike I have is the depth. I do wish the pack were a little bit deeper. When I go on a longer ruck, I'll put some stuff in here. I typically have an IFAC slash foot repair kit in here. Uh, you know, if I'm going to a national park or something, I like to put some binoculars in there. And with the weights and then a bladder, it starts to get packed pretty quickly. But uh, that's a minor gripe. I can also use some of my larger go ruck packs as rucksacks too if I needed the additional space. But uh, that would be really it for the dislikes. As far as the likes go, I like the padding that I mentioned on top of that weight plate pocket so you don't have weights bouncing off the back of your head. I really like the reflective strip as a safety feature. Uh, I will typically ruck after work and it's quite often dark outside and safety first. I'll also usually add a strobe to myself or I'll put a strobe on my dog's collar. I really don't want to get run over. So uh, otherwise, I like the straps, as I mentioned. These are great straps, very comfortable, lots of padding. I like the grab handle for the same reasons. And then finally, I would say that I really like the 210D HT Cordura on the back as a fabric choice. I think that's a fantastic feature and great design choice, in my opinion. And uh, finally, I guess, you know what, I'll throw one more like in there, and that is the fact that I do like that this pack came with the hip belt and the sternum strap. So that sums it up for my likes and dislikes. This is a simple ruck built for a simple job and it does that job very well. Bulletproof construction on this, it's built to last a lifetime. Load it up with weight, abuse it, see how it does for you. I would feel comfortable recommending this bag to anybody that was looking into getting into rucking.